Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is a case of a young woman who presented with abdominal pain. Um, these are axial CT scans through the abdomen and pelvis in an arterial phase. So the first thing we come across is this low-density node in the portal region, quite large node. And just going through further down, we can see smaller nodes here anteriorly. The pancreas itself appears normal. The pancreatic duct is slightly prominent. And the liver appears grossly normal, apart from this low-density lesion within the right lobe with some peripheral nodular enhancement. We'll come back to that lesion a little bit later. So as we go further down within the abdomen, we can see several low-density, multi-septated collections seen bilaterally within the psoas muscles. So this person has bilateral psoas abscesses. They don't seem to track down into the iliacus, so they're limited to the psoas itself. Apart from that, we see further necrotic nodes. Here, there's one just beneath the bifurcation of the aorta, and further down as we go along the external iliac vessels as well. So looking back at the psoas abscesses, just need to make sure there's nothing within the vertebral bodies, like a discitis, which is leading to these abscesses. And so I've just changed the windows to bone windows and can't actually see any destruction of the adjacent bone. So we just look at the sagittal reformat just to make sure we're not missing the discitis at the same time. So change that to zone windows again. And looking at the lower thoracic and the lumbar vertebrae, can't actually see any destructive lesions or any evidence of discitis at, with individualized bones. There is some degenerative disc disease further down here. Okay. So a few more findings within this. If you look on the coronal reformat, you can see these abscesses tracking along the soft model bilaterally, as we discussed earlier. And the necrotic nodes here within the mesentery and further up here within the quarter as well. So going back to this lesion within the liver, we saw some nodular enhancement in the arterial phase. So looking back at the non-contrast examination, we can barely see that. Okay, so this is most likely to be a hemangioma given the nodular peripheral enhancement. Now looking at the base of the lung, there are multiple tiny pinpoint nodules distributed throughout both the lung bases. These are not in any particular pattern. They're just everywhere, and these are millary nodules. So in conclusion, this is a patient who has millary nodules within the chest, bilateral psoas abscesses, and multiple necrotic-looking lymph nodes within the mesentery and the quarter. So this is most likely a case of tuberculosis just disseminated tuberculosis. 